Today, let us continue with chapter 4, quadratic polynomial, quadratic equation. Exercise 4C, factorize by factor, solve by factorization. We will see question number 10. Here we have 3x squared equal minus 11x minus 10. To solve for x, let's transfer this to the same side okay we can transfer it as 3x square then this is minus if you take this side become plus then minus 10 become plus 10 so now we have the form ax square plus bx plus c so that means we have to split by splitting middle term so we take the coefficient of x square and constant we have 10 so 3 into 10 we have 30 so we have to find two numbers if multiply we get 10 or oh, sorry we get 30 two of them multiply we get 30 if here we have plus if plus we should get the middle that is 11 so what are the possible numbers to be 30 multiply 2 into 15 then 3 into 10 then do we have the other yes 6 into 5 so which one satisfied both multiply and plus this one multiply it satisfied 15 plus 2 do we get 11 no so they are not 10 into 3 30 10 plus 3 11 no so they are not 6 into 5 30 6 plus 5 11 so that means the required number we are searching are 6 and 5. So in the middle term, instead of 11, we can write 6 and 11. So there, 3x squared remains same. In place of 11, we split it as 6 plus 5 whole x plus 10. Then we remove the bracket plus 6 into x plus into plus 5 into x there then here we have 3 and 6 we can divide 6 by 3 so we take common 3 then we do have x and x take common so here we are left with x 3 into 2 will be 6 so leave 2 here then 5 and 10 we can divide by 5 so take common 5 here we are left with x 5 into what will be 10 5 into 2 so x plus 2 x plus 2 same Take in one bracket, 3x plus 5, another bracket. Uh, then we can do either or. So this is plus, take that side, become minus 3 into x. So x will be into, take the side, become divide. Then x plus 2 equals 0. This is plus, take the other side, become minus. So the value for x are minus 5 by 3 and minus 2. Then question number 11, they already split okay they already split the middle term so our work is only to uh, take common so first remove the bracket then after that we can take common so minus 2 plus minus root 2x minus 2 plus minus 1x plus root 2 so here x square x square we can take common x so we are left with x minus 2 then we have minus here we put 1 and root 2 nothing common so we can take 1 then we are left with x minus 2 plus minus root 2 x minus root 2 x minus root 2 same we can put inside one bracket x minus 1 another one then here minus take that side become plus here also minus take that side become plus so the value of x in this equation is 1 and root 2 then we go on to question number 12 here we have x minus 1 by 2 whole square so that means we can apply first the formula a minus b whole square we can arrange it to become proper then only we will split so here apply a minus b whole square it will be a square minus 2ab plus b square still equal to 4 x square let it be 2 and 2 we can cancel x 1 into 1 1 2 into 2 4 this is plus bring side become minus since we have fraction let us take lcm 
uh, denominator there is no number min 1 so 4 into 1 will be 4 1 divide 4 4 4 into x square will be 4x square 1 divide 4 4 4 into x will be 4x then we have plus 4 divide 4 1 1 into 1 1 1 divide 4 4 4 into 4 16 so 4x square minus 4x all different variables we cannot plus we cannot minus 1 has no variable 16 no variables 1 is minus 1 is plus we can minus then 16 minus sign is greater then here 4 into 0 0 so now we get in the form ax square plus bx plus c so we can split middle term coefficient of x square is 4 the constant term is 15 so 4 into 15 what we get 4 5 sa 20 4 1 4 5 6 so we need two numbers if multiply we get 60 then here we have minus 4 if we minus them we will get 4 if multiply we get 60 if minus we get 4 let us split 60 uh, i can split 2 into 30 30 minus 2 will not be 4 let's split again 2 into 5 15 so 2 into 2 4 15 minus 4 will not be 4 again continue to split 3 into 5 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 12 minus 5 will be 7 so let us try to rearrange them 5 into 2 will be 10 3 into 2 6 so 10 into 6 we have 60 10 minus 6 will be 4 so the required number will be 10 and 6 so in the middle term we can put with 10 and 6 so 4x square minus remains same only in place of 4 we can put with 10 minus 6 because 10 minus 6 equal 4 so it does not make different <coughs> now remove the bracket 4x square minus 10 into x, 10x, minus 2 minus plus 6x, minus 15 equal 0. Then here, 4x, we can do 2 into 2. Then you can do 2 into 5, so you can take common 2. And then x also we have, so inside you are left with 2x minus 5. Here, 2 into 3, here, 3 into 5. So you can see 3, 3 common, you are left with 2x minus 5. These are same, you can take one bracket, the other one. Then this is minus, take the side become plus, in 2 we divide. Here we have plus, take the other side become minus, then in 2 we divide. So the value for x are 5 by 2 and minus 3 by 2.